2022 Sevens Rugby World Cup comes to you from Cape Town, South Africa. This multicultural and rugby-loving city has taken the game of Sevens to its heart. The stage is set for finals day and the race to the Melrose Cup. So here's how the men's semi-finals look in the championship competition. It will be the defending champions, New Zealand, against Ireland. And then on the other side of the draw, Fiji against Australia in semi-final number two. Good off thought, inside running is rewarded. Fantastic initiation from McGarvey Black. New Zealand on the board. Well, that's about as composed as you expect from this All Blacks team who are littered with star quality right across the board. Ireland with a flat low kick. Nulty, as he did last night against the Springboks, causes all sorts of havoc. And the first half starts with an incredible moment for Andrew Smith to tie up the game. Well, the first half started with 30 seconds on the clock for New Zealand to get over. Ireland have bettered it in the second half. It's exactly how you start a half from Ireland. This is side to side. This might be the fifth or sixth time they've gone across. But the first time they got over the line, McGarvey Black with another one. New Zealand takes the lead. Well, what a time to get a hat trick. Here's Rasaku again. It's the handoff on Turner, but Turner comes out. Back for another nibble, but there's the inside ball to Felipe Salturanga. Patterson's coming across, and Salturanga just drops another gear and under the post. That's Fiji all over right there. Something from nothing. And they're only metres away from their own try line. Oh, the fake catch. Oh, the beautiful ball out the back. And here comes Nandu Valo. The water boy, they call him. Because he couldn't make the team for so long. But there you go, finishes the job for Fiji. Corey Toole opens up, Corey Toole, the Nicholas Cage look-alike, oh, he hits the big screen again. This player <laughs> is unbelievable. He seems so unfazed, Corey Toole, when he makes these runs. But it's so amazing, round he goes, swerving, stepping, adjustments, and then this very unorthodox style, so hard to stop. Conroy comes in from nowhere, can't get around his legs, the piston's flying. Just over three to go. Mark Roach is back on the field in this game. The kick through from Terry Kennedy. Kennedy reaching, Kennedy's there. He's the medicine that makes Ireland better. What a set piece play. Pops it with advantage. Brian Mullen. Advantage over. Smith. Wonderful hands. Oh, and the football skills from Terry Kennedy. Get out of here. It's Ireland. We're showing all the skills. Roach, Harry, McNulty for the line. McNulty places it. The medicine man with the boot. And McNulty, the magnificent, with the try. And that comes from the great work preceding it. My goodness me. Here they come, out onto Cape Town Stadium. Waseya Nopungu leads out Fiji. Sam Dixon, who missed the 2018 event in San Francisco four years ago. Moments away from the World Cup of Sevens Championship Final. And here's one of their stars of the tournament, Yosefo Masi. And an opportunity for Talafolo down the near side. They're on the chase, New Zealand. But Yosefa Talafolo. Inside 30 seconds, scores first in the World Cup final. Mugabe Black 
Dixon, Leo in the corner, nicely done New Zealand. Their first try of the World Cup final. And Fiji in a bit of space here, high shot coming in on Orasaku, we play on. Now it's Hanakai Bata, just bursting clear for Fiji. The power man gets it done for the flying Fijians. That's number three. Well, they look confident, don't they? And they have right from the get-go. This Fijian outfit, they're running with venom. That's the secret. Ball in two hands takes the hold. And there's no way he was going to be stopped from there. Look at him looking around. No one. A pitcher shot. New Zealand put the power on the scrum, but here they come, looking to finish in style, and they do. Filippo Bucayano seals the deal for Fiji. The Olympic champions are world champions. Their third Melrose Cup. The seven Supremos have done it again. Australia and Fiji rejoice, World Cup winners.